What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to work on our nav bar for our blog with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to mess around a little bit with the nav bar. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so I've been getting a couple of questions about the nav bar. And when we log in here, we can log in. And we have all of our like profile stuff. People have been asking me, hey, can we move this profile thing over to the right and maybe put our name there instead of it saying profile, you know, you can put your username or your logged in name or your actual name or whatever you want. And then uh, sort of have it over here kind of off to the side because we're getting a little bit cluttered here and that that does seem to be the case. So that's what we're going to do really quickly in this video. And this is super easy. This should just take us a couple of minutes. So let's head over to our code. And in our, let's see, the blog directory, in our templates, in our base.html file, we can come down here and check out our different things in our nav bar. And let's see, here is the profile drop down stuff. Now, before we get into changing all of that, let's just come down here and to the end of everything and let's just add something on the right hand side. So how do we do that? Well, if we come up here to the top here, where we first have, you know, the very beginning of all of our stuff here, you see every link thing we have is basically a list item. So we've got an unordered list at the top of our thing here. And here it is. And you can see the code for this. This is bootstrap code. And it's, you know, nav bar dash nav. And here we have MR auto. And MR, I think it stands for margin right, but it puts everything on the left. So it must not stand for margin right. I'm not sure what it stands for. But ML, which I think stands for margin left, puts everything on the right. So we could just create this, or we could just grab this guy right here and copy it and come down here to the very bottom of all of our links and stuff, for our nav bar stuff. And here's this closing UL tag. Outside of here, we could just create another one and then close it. Instead of MR, it's ML, right? So then inside of here, we could put any kind of link that we want. So I'm just going to grab the nearest li uh, list item link and kind of paste this in here. And actually, let's just save this and, and reload and see what this looks like. So when we do that, boom, we get this login link over here. And it's ML on the right hand side. I don't know, I don't get it. But that's how this works. So let's say we want this link to well, we'll change change it from login, but let's say we want the actual user's name. So we remember from our user class, we can add a first name and a last name. And we've accessed those in other videos in this course. So we can just inside of here, instead of this saying login, oops, let me put this on a couple of lines so that we can see this, we can just go user dot first underscore name. So if we save this, come back here and reload. Now it says John up, oh, I got an extra one of those running around. There it is, get rid of that. Save this, reload. Okay, so now it says John. So that's first name, we can do the same thing with last name as we've done, you know, lots of times. So let's just go user dot last underscore name. And save this and reload and boom, John Elder. So now, you know, maybe you just want this pointing to the, uh, I don't know, show profile page link, you could do that. So let's see, let's look around here for our show profile page link. And it's just here's the URL, or here's the link tag for that. So we can just grab this. And in this href tag, we could just paste this in. So if we save this, come up here, hit reload, now click on this, it goes to the user profile. Now, remember, not everyone has a user profile page if they haven't created one yet. So you're going to need to put some logic in there if you do that. And, and first of all, no matter what, we need to uh, make sure users logged in. So if we log out here, now we're getting an error because in this link, when the person's not logged in, they don't have a first name, last name or a profile page, right? So what we need to do is as we've done in other places in the nav bar, 
we need to run an if statement. So let's see. If user is authenticated, that's the first one we need to do. So we can do that. And just right here. And then underneath this UL, we can end our if, right? So now if we save this and come back here and hit reload, the thing still works even when we're not logged in. So then we can log back in and boom, that works. Now, again, like I said, you're still gonna need to do an if statement if to see if the person has a profile page. And we've got the same logic right here in this profile section. So if you wanted to, you could come back here, look into our profile section, there it is. And let's see if user profile ID. So you would do the same thing here, copy this, bring this down here, and then just underneath here, pop this guy in, and then give us another end if here. And that would work. So if you just want the person's name and a link to their profile page, this is how you would do that. And I kind of like that. But like I said, this whole thing is getting kind of, uh, busy. There's a whole lot of links going on here. I don't really like the look of this. I want to move this profile thing over here and then, you know, put the name instead of it saying profile. So when we click on it, the thing will drop down and we have all these things. We may even put the logout link in here too, just because, you know, I don't know, it seems to kind of go with logging in, logging out, user profiles, you know, uh, editing the profile page, editing the settings page or showing the profile page. So we might do that. But for now, if we wanna just move this profile thing over to here, all we have to do is do a little copy and pasting. We're professionals at copying and pasting. So let's head up here and find this profile. And then it's just this LI here. You can see it's nav item drop down. And if we click on the LI and then kind of scroll down, we'll see the closing LI tag. So we know we need to copy all of this stuff. And I think that's it. So we can control C to copy or right click and copy. I'm gonna delete this, head down here to uh, this guy right here. And just where we created this UL inside of here, we could just paste all that in. Now, uh, we don't need this anymore, but we do need these two things. So I'm gonna copy these. Actually, we could just copy both of them and come up here to where it says profile, right? And instead of it saying profile, I want it to say the username. So I'll just paste that in there. And now we can come down here and get rid of all of this LI from what we did at the beginning of this video because we don't need this link anymore because it's in this profile thing anyway. So if we save this, head back over here and hit reload. Now it says John Elder, we got a little drop down. The profile section is gone from over here. If we click this, we see edit settings, edit profile page, show profile page. We can move the log out here if we really wanted to, but I think maybe we'll keep that there for now. And uh, we're good to go. So actually maybe we will put this login thing in here, but first uh, let's look at our code real quick one more time, something, yeah. Okay, so at the top of this UL stuff, we've got this, this is a holdover from when we just had the username. We need to get rid of that. And let's see, we probably need to get rid of one of the end ifs. So, okay, so that I think, makes more sense. So if a user is authenticated, then show their username and then allow them to edit settings. If they don't have a profile ID, don't do anything. Otherwise, edit profile ID, show profile ID, else create the profile page. And if, okay, so then down here, I think we want to create our logout link. So let's come up here to our logout link. And here it is. And let's just copy this. I'm not gonna delete it yet in case we mess this up, but we can copy this, bring it down here. And let's see, where are we at here? So usernames, profile pages, else. Okay, underneath this end if, we can paste this in. Now, this is an LI, and all the things in the dropdown are just A's, A her F's, links. So we need to get rid of this LI thing. Like this, and this has a class of nav link. The rest of our drop down things have a class of drop down item, so we need to change that. So that should work. So, okay, that looks, I think, good. Let's go ahead and save this and reload it to see if we mess that up. 
and nope there it is so one thing we've got here is this drop down is kind of hanging off the side so we can't really have that so we can fix that really easily let's head back over to our code and come up to the top of the drop down thing so here we have div, div class drop down dash menu we could just right inside of these quotation marks put a space and then just go drop down dash menu dash right now this will make the drop down menu go right but actually left so it's another one of those things where it's kind of the opposite and makes absolutely no sense so if we save this come back here and hit reload now this whole thing gets pushed to the left left whatever <laughs> and we can now see it uh, we've got our logout link here that seems to work let's go ahead and log out and let's log back in as somebody who let's see does bob have a profile page i don't remember yeah log out here uh let's see was ted one we had i can't even remember yeah ted ted does not have a profile page so he can edit his settings he can create a profile page and he can still log out so that seems to be working so we log back in as a regular user and everything looks fine there and now we could probably get rid of this logout link up here since we finished this and didn't actually mess it up so let's see come up here to the logout thing and just delete it save it come back here reload okay now this is starting to look a lot better we might want to put this add category thing in the category drop down with maybe a space spacer uh, if you remember the bootstrap bootstrap documentation there's space bars you can put little bars to move things around I mean, maybe you could do that maybe not i'll leave that to you but this is definitely looking cleaner up here uh, and this is sort of a more professional way to have your profile stuff all on one side and under the username you can even put a little image here if you wanted to put your user image and make it really tiny i'll leave that to you to play around with that uh, but yeah that's all there is to it so that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So I pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 45 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.